What's going on guys, today I'll be showing you how to get the most FPS on any low-end system like a low-end laptop or PC. And I'll also be working on my mom's 5 year old laptop to test these tweaks on. It's only been 10 days or so when we've already jumped from 100 subscribers to now almost 500 subscribers. I'm very grateful for the growth and I'll make sure I stay consistent and hopefully road to 1000 happens. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. Before I get into this video, let me tell you the specs of this system and tell you the background of this computer. Initially, I used my mom who bought it 5 years ago in 2019. It was used during quarantine for a few months and has been really touched ever since picking up dust. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 3500U, AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics, and 12GB of RAM. Honestly, the specs are bad except the RAM considering it's a laptop, but with this tutorial, I'll try my best to tweak it. And also, honestly, I've tweaked the system before, but I'll still show before and after of the system through a virtual machine. I've also updated the free program I've made in the last video. To get this program, join my Discord and go to the channel that says Bagu's Quick Cleaner. You'll be linked to my GitHub from there, download the EXE and run it. But yeah, let me show you how easy it is to boost your FPS on any low system. So the first thing you want to do is, after you download the program, make sure you run an admin. And you'll be given this prompt, which has all the buttons, uh, a lot better than the last program I made. Because it's in the UI now, and it's also in C++. So, let me just get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is click Create a Restore Point. Click Yes. And while this runs, you can do anything you want. It's going to automatically create you a restore point. And before we get into anything else, make sure the restore point actually worked. Okay, after the restore point is created, make sure you click System Restore Point. And if this doesn't show up, restart the program, run an admin, and do it again. Because it usually is supposed to work. So now that we know we have a restore point, we can click any of these. And if you want to revert it later or you don't like what you did, just go to System Properties, Restore Point, find the restore point, and make sure you revert it. So the first thing you want to do is click Clear Basic Cache and DNS Cache. It just clears up any cache so you get more storage. So the next thing you want to do after you clear your basic cache and DNS cache, go straight to the bloat system and increase performance and click yes and let this run out. It may take a while for some PCs and some for uh, low end PCs, it'll definitely take a while. So after your system gets to bloated, it'll just give this prompt saying system to bloated. Just click OK. I only suggest you use fixed corrupt files and defragment and optimize drives is if you want it. But for this tutorial, I only suggest use restore point, cache, the bloat, latency, the bloat discord, the bloat spotify, uh, fix corrupt files and the fragment and optimized drives. They can even take up to 20 minutes to complete. So um, use these at your own risk. The next thing you want to do is that if you have spotify or discord, just click the bloat spotify and click the bloat discord. It might take a while. Uh, I didn't make the code for the bloat discord. I'll actually link it in my github to whoever made it. Is made by OpenSR, so um, yeah, it basically the bloats Discord for you. Um, things load faster, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, what you want to do. Then, since we use Clear Basic Cache to bloat system, then we should go to lower latency. Just click this, and then click yes. Let this run, and uh, yeah, now you're gonna have zero input delay, um, zero mouse smoothing, and etc. Uh, a lot more it does in my GitHub. It actually explains what it does. So yeah. Now you want to click game boost on. Uh, so every time you play a game, make sure you have this on. Uh, also, when you close off the application, it'll still be running. And if you don't want it, just click game boost off and it'll stop running. So let this run out for a second. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when it's done. That's pretty much it. Um, if you don't like the tweaks, you can always go back to the restore point and revert it. Uh, next you want to do is shut down system. Click yes. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much the program. Now let me show you how to get a little bit more extra FPS uh, pretty easily. So in my description, I'm actually going to link this program. It's called Hotkey Resolution Changer. I really, really suggest this if you're on a laptop. Um, also suggest this if you're on a low end desktop. Basically, double click it on the bottom right. It'll show that um, you can change your resolution easily just by one hotkey. So on default, you see for most monitors nowadays or most resolutions, it'll be auto set to 1080p. And uh, yeah, you can go back and forth on one resolution to another. I suggest you use 720p. It gives you like an easy 30 FPS boost, guarantee. And uh, yeah, I suggest you use this program whenever you wanna play games. And if you wanna watch a video, you can always use a hotkey to revert back to 1080p. Personally, I use the control alt brackets. So if I do control alt left bracket, 
it would go to 1080p um kind of blurry for a little while but if i want to watch a youtube video i go to 1080p if i want to play a video game and get an easy 30 fps boost i do control alt right bracket and i'll just play video games uh and yeah that's pretty much it before i end off the video i'll show you some gameplay on this laptop um of me playing uh personally i'll record with obs so it might take up a little bit frames but um i don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference um and yeah let me just show you some quick gameplay of me playing minecraft and roblox so another thing i want to say before i show you a little bit of gameplay on minecraft is um the specs so as you can see these are the correct specs i'm also running it on 1080p i'm not 1080p uh 720p i'm also on lunar client so i might get a little bit more ex extra fps but i'll be honest every single minecraft client if it has optifine it'll just run pretty good in general so that's pretty much it um let me just show you the max fps uh, give me two seconds so you look up in the sky hide your gui give it about five seconds and uh yeah show your gui again i get about 403 max fps that's while recording i probably might get more fps when i stop recording but uh yeah that's how much fps i get and uh enough talking let me just get straight into the gameplay 